shit off the table. Christmas in July. <laughs> Literally. It's a box in a box. It's a box in a box. That's a whopper. That's a whopper. Uh, do we really want a Saxon in here? Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not Anglo. <laughs> you can't see it. It's a plastic like case. Okay, let's take it out of the bag. Look at that. No longer. <laughs> oh, focus, 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 focus. Not like they won't see it. Though. Oh, it's another box. In a box. Christ, all right. Should I just leave, leave her open now? Well, it should, but it ruins the fun. See my own fingernails under that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Probably why it's a 500 grand because it's been dramatic. Jesus. Look okay, at that. Now that is a microscope. I see you've played microscopy before. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Gemologist, first microscope. <laughs> Gemologist, second microscope. Oh, okay. Well, I'm in love. It's a beast. <laughs> Let's do a what's in the box. You don't know what's in the box until you get the box. Or in our case, the box in the box in the box. <laughs> they do tell you what's in the box, but there's a few little surprises in there, which was unexpected and kind of exciting. So, start with the Barlow. This is probably the key to the uh, 10 to 160. So, as it stands, this unit next to me here is a 10 to 80 times zoom. This is what gives you the 160. So, when you first get the scope, you'll have a little plate up here, and you have to pry that off. It's mildly terrifying, and then you have to use a bit of force. And then you just screw that on and it basically just sits in there. I won't do it because a thousand tiny screws takes a while. And a thousand tiny threads takes a while to screw on. It's also, you don't really need it unless you're looking at something real close. When you have the Barlow on, you've got to back out a long way, it changes your depth of field and it's just, it's great for certain purposes, but in general, not so much, don't need it. So, you also get, Two twenties, wide field lens, eyepiece lenses, and two tenths, both wide field. You can see the difference between the field though. The ten is much wider than the twenty. So I use the tens for just perusing around, checking out what's going on in the stone. And the 20s for when you want to really get up into its face. If you want full magnification, you need the 20s and the Barlow. And you are right up in there, crystal cycles. So these are really easy to put in. There's basically you just drop them in. Ah, you also get the eyepieces, two of these. Or eyepiece caps. They're super easy to put on. Yes. There you go. Drop it in. Voila. 
That's another cool thing about the scope, it's full 360. So you don't have to move, the scope comes to you. Very, very cool. Very handy when you're in weird spaces and working with multiple people. So I get that cap on there. Voila. Cool. So that's the eyepieces and the barlow. This little thing is also a cool attachment that you get that goes in here. And that's to, well, it's basically a camera adapter. You get the USB camera and that's your camera adapter. You can also just take a photo down the eye lens. It's really hard to hold still. Uh, you can get adapters for that as well for your phones. There we go. To use at a later date. Oh yeah, this little thing. <laughs> it took me ages to work out what the hell this was. It's some random tool that needs a special name but doesn't have one. So I finally worked out what it is. You have these teeny little stages. Well, some teeny, not others not. This little one here, so you got a little hook on the end of this thing. Basically you shimmy it under and it helps you lift the stage. That just covers your uh, trans transmission light, transmitted light, base light, covers your light. <laughs> you also have <coughs> Fright Field stage, which just slots in and is the other end, the larger end of the tool. That's what you use to pick that one up. And also they're relatively easy to just pick up. With fingers. And the dark field, this one was definitely a game changer. I had no idea this was in the box and I was very, very excited when I opened it. So this dark field is cool because it has an adjustable iris. Very cool. So you can let a lot of light in and not a lot of light in. Very, very cool. Excellent for seeing um, or highlighting really coarse fluid inclusions and negative crystals and stuff like that. Uh, it really helps you maneuver the light around so you can really see what's going on inside, well, the inclusions. <laughs> and you don't have to sh shift between plates too much because, well, you've got so much adjustability in your dark field. It's freaking awesome. And I was very excited. Also, another very exciting little gadget. And we clearly am easily excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this is your gem tweezies. Now, what's cool about these is the opening, if you can see, is hollow. So, through here is what we're looking at, people. Yeah. You've got no teeth and you've got hollow openings at the end. So, normal, well, others that I've worked with have enclosed the whole way through and teeth in the middle. Now uh, that can put a little bit of pressure, potentially damage your stone, all that sort of thing, but it also shields all the light. So that lets a heap of light in, along with your vision. So cool. So exciting. It's super easy to put on. When you first get it, you'll have the um, stage clasps, stage clamps in place. So that's the other one, I've taken it off already. You get a little uh, mounting nut. You just take that, unscrew one of those, pop the mounting nut in, and voila, you're all tweezed and ready to roll. <laughs> so it's also telescopic, which is really cool. So it makes it really easy to, and it, it's really fluid as well. Like it's not jitty, it's really cool. And full 360 degree rotation. So you don't have to unencumbered 360 degree rotation. There is no, oh, I can't do anything, I have to get back that way. No, you can just keep going. Go and go. It's great. It's really great. I'm super excited. <laughs> it makes it really easy when you're looking at uh, a 3D image because you don't have to keep fiddling around with it on the stage trying to get it in focus. You just turn. Look at it again. Turn. Look at it again. Turn. It's great. I think I made my point. So that was really cool and didn't know it was coming. Well, I knew it was getting tweezers. I didn't know it was getting cool tweezers. Yeah, so another cool thing, oh yeah, you also get the white stage plate with the black stage plate on the back for light absorption, or 
full reflection. Also very cool. So your light with this is actually really cool too. So you have instant light, which is adjustable. So you can go up, down, really good if you want to use your spectroscope with your microscope. You can get really good angle on it. And that's both lights, so transmitted light and incident light, and then purely just transmitted. So you can also adjust the light to suit whatever you're doing. So the level of adjustability with this thing is kind of crazy between the dark field adjustable iris, all the angles of the light, and yeah, really good, super impressed. Oh, and this was in the box. Of course, you cannot forget the dust bag. It's a bag. It's not complicated. It goes over your microscope and protects it from the dreaded dust. <laughs> so that's what's in the box. Let's have a look at some petroleum included quartz. Very cool.